I'm doing it. Everybody's got to be doing it. Go back me up in New York. No, the, he's the, always he's done that with any medical issue. He'd be like, he'd be like, hey, your kidneys hurting yet? I'm like, no. Well, they will. I know. It's like, Kofi, we're from a different fucking DNA family tree. I don't know what you're doing. You did that for fucking years. Your eyes go yet? No. Well, you wait. You wait, bro. You wait. It's like, November 7th, well, how old are you? It's going to be November 17th. It's just like, it's not wrong because when how self involved are you that you literally, like, all my medical, like, if I have it, the whole world must have it. He's not wrong because I couldn't wait to wish him a very happy 50th. <laughs> it's our 50th. I couldn't wait to text yeah. Bill because I'm like, oh, there's a whole another list of problems now. Wait till no, you I'm get this I've I, I, I gone, to the, I gone to the doctor. I'm, I'm fucking, you know, I'm all checked up. Yeah. I did the colonoscopy. Like, fucking last month that's yeah. the easiest thing ever yeah, only thing that is is the drinking the stuff is the, oh, the hard part shitting your brains out it's yeah. actually like it's like ridiculous Ugh. it's like really again it's fucking ridiculous but then you just go there and they go all right put this on your face and they put it on your face and you just wake up they do say to lay on your side. It's yeah. like, am I literally helping to fucking date rape myself here? <laughs> and you just... You're rape you fucking, rape. Dude, you literally, you breathe in, and then you just go to sleep, and it feels like two seconds later, like, all right, you're good. <laughs> that, that, good. That you just had a whole camera crew up your ass, and you have no fucking idea. Well, the two things on that, the propofol is, holy shit. You could basically knock someone out in you could uh, one stop, second. You, you could stop, stop a protest. <laughs> no kidding. And the other thing is, we're lucky because the cameras finally got small. I know it's kind of a hack bit, but when our parents oh. were getting their colonoscopies, that shit was... The real did they deal. even have? Well, that's why I, I think oh, Vince man. Lombardi Edward didn't News do it. Camera. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Vince Lombardi was like, "You're not sticking that thing up my ass," and he just went out. He was just like, oh. "That's that was an old school guy." Yeah, but like, he didn't regret it either. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Those guys were tough. They yeah. didn't give a yeah. fuck. Man, when I was hanging out with my dad at the VFW hall, they all had cancer and they didn't give a shit. Yeah. I think they don't care. My, I was, my yeah. brother's a big it was cardio. cancer was a badge of honor. <laughs> Well, they were all older guys and they lived their lives like when you're young and you're looking at that situation like holy fuck go to a doctor like ah fuck it for what reason you know he's missing an ear and it was <laughs> it, you know it's it 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 like, it yeah, i worked in a fucking restaurant you guys are lunatics <laughs> i used to work on a mesquite grill like <sighs> glassed in with the chef, and the only reason why I had the job is because the restaurant was slowly going out of business. So I, I, I became the busboy, the dishwasher, right. and worked. You the keep moving up. Grill. It's like war. Every no, no, I dies. kept all three jobs at the same time. Yeah, so I had like the bow tie shit underneath my apron, and I would be cooking the shrimp brochettes and shit, waiting for people to finish like a sitcom. I would like duck down, take the shit off, and you come out, and I would bust it. Wow. Then, right, yeah. I mean, how many health code violations was I? Violated? Every single one. <laughs> yeah. So then in the back there was like a like you know there's a little window where I put the orders up, and in the back they used to fucking I remember they would uh, they had like a little look, I don't, I'm not a drug guy, but a little brown cube that was smoldering under a glass. Oh, they the would, hash. It, oh, yeah. that's the old, the old yeah. sticky hash. Yeah, yeah the old Delicious. sticky hash. Yeah, and then they would just go out there. We had a guy who was on. Uh, work release from prison oh. like at night he had to go back to jail Jesus. there was like an ever like there was another guy was a f fucking raging alcoholic who had lost his drive i was in north carolina he lost his driver's license so many times that he just he wasn't getting it back. this is in the 80s too where you could just like yeah. kill people a couple times right he he lost it indefinitely so he had this fucking moped <laughs> And he used to ride it to work, and it was the winter time. And he would be so bleary-eyed, he'd take a shower at the last second. He always would have like frost on his hair, <laughs> like Grandpa Munster, right? Are you kidding me? No, I swear to God. Oh, so, shit. so one time, I swear to God. So one time as a joke, dude, this fucking moped, and he lived, and he lived in a trailer. And this guy's oh, like, no, oh, this was bad. It was bad. So it's a joke, because this, this moped was his fucking mode of transportation. We took his moped. And they had like this shed built into the hill where we had all the extra napkins and booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we wheeled it uh, behind it up the hill and put it on the roof. And it was like, you know, cars would come by, you know, because it was a mall. And we put it up there and he just to watch him freak out. And dude, this guy almost started fucking crying. Came in, my moped's gone. <laughs> freaking out. We were just, and I, I'm just sitting there like I wasn't in control of the prank. So I was kind of thinking in my head, tell him, tell him, tell him. So finally we tell him. He's like, ah, oh, you motherfuckers, goddammit. And we fucking walked him all the way around, and we get to the top of the fucking thing, and the moped was gone. <laughs> oh, somebody had stolen it. Oh, no, no, but it had a happy ending. They, they ended up finding it. 
and somebody was, I remember it was silver, and somebody tried to like do a quick spray <laughs> thing with the black, and it was all shitty. And I remember the next day, him riding to work, his, with his fucking frosted hair, and I was like, I am the worst human being on the fucking planet, because he, he wasn't even like mad. He, I remember he saw it, he goes, this ain't that bad, it painted a little bit, but motor's still good. And I was just like, oh man. So when, you're, when, you're, when I was starting out, we were, I worked at a restaurant in New York City, you know one of these big lines where you had the, the chef had the microphone? Uh -huh. So on Saturdays, we would do a collection for cocaine. So we would send the, the, the uh, we would send the busboy up to Washington Heights with a ton of money, uh -huh. and then he would bring it back. And before service, there was like uh, cutting boards, and we would put little ounce containers around the cutting board so they would be elevated, and have the pastry chefs make the lines perfect, Jesus. and cut the, the milkshake straws, and it would be all ready. So Jeez, the what? chef would what an organ operation. Yeah. <laughs> So the chef would organize, organize it, right. and the chef was a Cuban guy, so he had a funny accent. So uh -huh. when the cocaine would get there and they were all the lines were ready, he would go on the microphone and go, The ego has landed! Oh, 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 oh! All through the fucking <laughs> kitchen. And then he'd be like, and then in the middle of doing everything, he would organize not only the steaks and that we were making, but he would organize who, who had to go next. Yeah. So he'd be like, okay, two medium rare, one rare, one short rib. Okay, pastry, cocaine, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. And all the pastry stations, we'd lift up the cutting board, you'd get your straw, boom, boom, boom. And then you put it back, and everyone would go back to their stations. It was on. Oh, my, that should be in a movie. It was, the, it was your life. The, the, would you guys be laughing or just like, no, this is normal? No, it was normal. And then, then we were so coked up that we would start making demands, like terrorists. You know what I mean? Because the whole kitchen's coked up. So then we'd be like, chef, we want... Three pictures of margaritas. So the chef would call into the, yeah. the channel manager and goes, Hey, Papo, four, four pictures of margarita right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He goes, We can't give you any more alcohol, chef. Oh, no problem. We start cooking. Everybody, take a break. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and everybody would just start cooking. And he would, here come the pictures of margaritas. And he would say, Okay, let's go. Two state meter right. Like that. Oh, fucking. You would, you would hold them hostage.